It makes a difference who runs your airports. O'Hare International Airport is one of the greatest assets that the city of Chicago has. Something that generates, obviously, lots and lots of jobs, but also has to be a good regional partner with our neighbors around O'Hare. It makes a difference who makes the decisions and what their heart is about procurement opportunities to make sure that we continue our promise and our commitment to build wealth. So it makes a difference who is the leader of this great, vibrant airport that puts Chicago on the map and, as you heard in the video, connects O'Hare to the world and the world to Chicago. We have a gifted leader in our airport commissioner, Jamie Ree. Make no mistake about it. So to Commissioner Ree and all the hard working men and women of the Department of Aviation, everything that you do every day, a lot of it unseen, but felt by our passengers, by our concessionaires, by our city, to make this to be the great economic engine that it is for the city and for the region, I want to personally thank each and every one of you for your hard work. I want to thank you to all the uh, city leaders, airline partners, and of course the men and women who designed and built this incredible structure. I am really in awe. It is stunning and beautiful. Having traveled through the old T5 many, many times over the years, um, on my way back from one destination or another, this is incredible. It is big, it is wide, it is bright, it is welcoming, and we are lucky to have this uh, work done here. So when I first took office in 2019, construction on T5 had just begun. And now, less than four years later, we're marking a major milestone by celebrating this new, improved, and expanded Terminal 5. Despite the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, which riddled uh, many, uh, which was riddled with many travel bans, supply chain issues, and a myriad of other interruptions, we were still able to complete this project. And on top of this, the construction work for T5 happened while airline operations continued out of this terminal as airline service was expanded to better connect Chicago to the world and the world to Chicago. And keeping those connections active during construction undoubtedly paid off as Chicago remains one of only five cities to offer nonstop passenger service, get this folks, to all major inhabited regions of the world. Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, Oceania, and South America. All of this is to say the completion of this Terminal 5 has positively impacted O'Hare and the rest of our city and has transformed this space significantly since it was first created 30 years ago. These are accomplishments that undoubtedly deserve to be celebrated, which is why we are all gathered here today. And as many of you know, the success of our airports directly impacts the city of Chicago and the rest of our region. By providing jobs and contracting opportunities, as well as acting as a catalyst for roadway and other infrastructure uh, improvements. This is a little major city that is under the banner of the, the Chicago Department of, of Aviation, but has such tremendous reach and breadth across our whole region and across the Midwest. By providing jobs and contracting opportunities, as well as acting as a catalyst for roadway and other infrastructure improvements, our airports have become essential to the economic health of our region. And further, our airports continue to serve as gateways to Chicago for domestic and international travelers. That's why Chicago's responsibility, our collective responsibility, to provide modern, welcoming, and accessible entry through our terminals. And let me tell you what I hear when people come to our city for the first time, and really their first taste of Chicago is our airports. Here's what they say. Wow, this is an amazing city. I had no idea. Yes, it is. So it's our job to make sure we continue to spread the word. As one of the busiest and most well-connected airports in the world, O'Hare continues to grow and transform to not merely meet but exceed travelers' expectations. 
This is made possible by our work to provide more amenities and better connections. The City of Chicago and our airports are deeply committed to creating and providing jobs and business opportunities for residents and contractors alike. This will not only help foster Chicago's continued economic growth, but also provide stakeholders with an opportunity to invest in our airports and the rest of our city. That engagement from our stakeholders also plays a huge role in our ability to make capital investments like the T5 expansion. Through collaboration with other our airline partners who are essential in this work, and I want to thank all of them again. We couldn't do any of this without the support and confidence of our airline partners. Increased travel options and competitive fares and meaningful partnerships between contractors and minority and women-owned firms. Many of you know, no secret, this is near and dear to my heart. We have to be about building wealth. We have to be about making sure that we're creating new opportunities for people that haven't had the benefit of this work to be here at the table. And you're going to hear uh, from one of them in a moment. We are able to ensure that the capital improvements we make at our airports address the needs of airlines, businesses, and travelers alike in an equitable and inclusion, inclusive way. And speaking of equity and inclusion, I'm proud to share the T5 project was guided by these North Stars. Thanks to Commissioner Rees' leadership, assistance from local and federal initiatives, and the support of Chicago City Council, our Department of Aviation succeeded diversity and inclusion goals for this project. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, you should and must clap for that. And let me go into more specific details. By working together with our Department of Procurement Services to create opportunities for local and women and minority-owned businesses to participate in the design and construction goals established for this project, the CDA has ensured that Terminal 5 will have an equitable economic ripple effect on the rest of our city. For starters, Austin Power Partners, which is a construction manager for the project, dedicated $167.3 million toward 114 minority-owned business enterprises and $31.9 million toward 67 women-owned business enterprises. That's got to be a record. I don't think we've ever done that before. <clears throat> and as a result, the Terminal 5 project achieved a 37% participation rate. 37. Our goal as a city is 26. This is 37% for uh, certified minority-owned and women-owned and disadvantaged businesses. The garage portion of this project was also guided by our North Stars of equity and inclusion, as 18 of the participating 78 contractors were minority-owned firms and 17 were women-owned, helping to achieve 31% completion rate for MBE and WBE firms. And excitingly, this equitable approach has also been adopted in the Terminal 5 concessions program as well. So you see a theme here? We build it in an equitable way, we service it in an equitable way, and we keep the wealth generation going. So in the concessions program, we'll pave the way for new food, beverage, and retail operations across this development. These new concessions coming online throughout this year will allow us to achieve an airport concession disadvantaged business enterprises participation rate of 40 percent, exceeding all goals and inclusive of many local small businesses. Furthermore, the Racial Equ Equity Action Plan, the city and the CDA will increase outreach to employ Chicago residents from underserved and disadvantaged areas. Everyone must participate because when we all rise, we all rise. That is something I'm extraordinarily proud of. And this will be accomplished of reaching out to residents by creating an airport employment guide, hosting airport expos and digital recruitment events, and of course partnering with other city departments and agencies to get the word out about good jobs and business opportunities in the aviation industry. O'Hare and Midway are two of the city's biggest economic engines, which ultimately have the most meaningful impact when they drive success and prosperity in communities that have been underserved for way too long. 
Again, I want to thank Commissioner Reed and her team for leading the way, leading the way and making sure that equity and inclusion are not just words, not just a mantra, but delivered in concrete, tangible ways. And I also want to thank, again, our airline partners for staying the course in Chicago. The airline industry, as you know, has been very hard hit. But it's rebounding. It's rebounding uh, because of partnerships. The ones that we have put in place, the ones that we've advocated for at the federal level, our airline industry here in Chicago is coming back stronger than ever. And last but not least, I want to thank all the labor and construction leaders and especially the workers for talent, expertise, and hard work that created this enhanced business today. Now, with that, it's my pleasure to welcome to the podium a leader who's been inspiring black and brown uh, workers to get involved in the construction trade. Uh, Jimmy Akintande, President and CEO of Ujamaa Construction. Jimmy, come on up. 